Welcome back, everybody, to Altcoin Daily. It is a fantastic time to be in cryptocurrency. The reason why you subscribe to this channel is because on a daily basis, we take you through everything going on in the cryptocurrency space, news, opinion, perspective, interviews. In today's video, I want to drill down on metaverse coins. To understand what we're talking about, let's just list off and recognize some of the brand names in the space today when it comes to metaverse gaming and play to earn coins. For instance, if you asked me what is the most famous brand name blue chip metaverse coin in cryptocurrency today, I'd say Decentraland and maybe second, the Sandbox. If we're talking about gaming coins in general, maybe I'd go Engine Coin is the most famous gaming coin. If we're talking about play to earn cryptocurrency games, of course the blue chip is Axie Infinity setting records. But there's so much more than just these three, just these four. For instance, we've talked about on the channel before My Neighbor Alice, Red Fox Labs, Decentral Games, Avagachi, and there's plenty here that I've never heard of. Comment your favorite metaverse game, NFT game, and play to earn game in the comments below. Tell me your favorite play to earn game, tell me your favorite metaverse game, and tell me your favorite NFT game or crypto in the comments below. Because all of this comes on the back of Ubisoft getting in recently, Facebook getting in recently, Atari getting in recently, just to name a few. And understand how much growth that we've seen with NFTs and play to earn games just in the past year alone. Check out these stats. NFTs have been gaining massive interest from investors. The industry has seen a growth of 2,100% in the first quarter of 2021 alone. That's compared to the previous quarter, according to Crunchbase, marking 2 billion USD in revenues. And the fact that you can earn massive revenues on these play to earn games, that's why it's so appealing to a lot of these companies and a lot of these people and projects. In July of 2021, the industry saw a massive 1.5 billion US dollar influx, more than half of the accumulated gains of the year's first quarter. This was about NFTs in general. To be specific on play to earn games, play to earn games have seen similar success. According to the latest report published by Blockchain game alliance more than 800,000 almost 1 million unique users have played on one or more of the available play to earn gaming platforms increasing the market for unique and active wallets by 121 percent so with all that being said let me put a specific play to earn project on your radar it's like an Axie Infinity, it's like a Gods Unchained, it's a play to earn game, a card game called Spellfire Remaster the Magic. This is a play to earn game, a revenue generating original NFT card game on the Ethereum blockchain. Spellfire is sponsoring today's video. I have a lot to share with you about them. You can see on your screen right now four of their cards. This is part of an open marketplace where you can get the cards and in-game items to play the game priced in Ethereum. I'll show you more on that in just a little bit. Now, 90% of all NFT generated profits go to card owners. So that's pretty cool. And a big reason why I was interested in these guys is because Spellfire is an already existing property. Spellfire was established back in 1994, and it's currently now on the Ethereum blockchain, whereby it utilizes the DAO concept. So an already established property. So just so you fully understand, let's compare Spellfire to Magic the Gathering to Hearthstone. All of these have been established brands in card games for years. Spellfire since 1994, Magic the Gathering since 1993, Hearthstone since 2014. Now, obviously, just one of them has made its way onto the Ethereum blockchain as a DAO, as a play-to-earn game. First NFTs that you can actually touch on Ethereum because you can get them in real life and also play the game. I believe that's the concept. Spellfire, unlike... These two, cryptocurrency, play to earn game, you can upgrade your cards, it's a DAO, yield generation, blockchain, Ethereum, NFTs, check, and also the physical cards. So, Spellfire, a fantasy game that presents players with unique experiences in the magical world, has introduced the first non-fungible token experience of owning in-game cards in real life. Quote, we seek to allow everyone involved to become a part of the revolution which connects the past with the future. 
So let's talk about what makes Spellfire unique as an NFT-based game. What are the unique features? Let's talk about the five magical worlds that you can play in and rule and explore. Show you the marketplace. Maybe we'll get into the pitch deck to see some interesting metrics and interesting specifics on the game. We'll check out the Twitter, so much to do. Let's start with the unique features. Spellfire, a legendary card-based NFT game powered by ETH and incorporating some unique features, has successfully completed its seed funding round. They're backed by some big names like Terra Nova, X21, Autonomy Capital. Spellfire has some unique features which make it stand out among its peers in the industry. For instance, NFTs acquired are both digital and physical, making it the first NFT-based game that allows owners to touch their NFTs. This is really cool. This actually reminds me of Vivi or Omni, their collection of IP-based NFTs, like they're working with Disney right now and they worked with Marvel. This reminds me of that. Special NFTs have an augmented reality feature allowing the owner to interact with their NFTs using gestures. NFTs will be upgradable. Players can create their own NFTs with unique characteristics. Spellfire includes a play-to-earn mechanic, which allows owners to generate revenue from their NFTs and from playing the game, just like an Axie Infinity. With 200 million tokens being distributed through in-game rewards, so by playing the game, tournaments, special collections, achievements, and 90% of NFT-generated profits going directly back to the owners, this is certainly one that is competitive with Axie Infinity and certainly a project to watch. And obviously the key to all of this, which is subjective, is is this game actually fun? And I like that they're providing a lot of variety to keep people playing. Five magical worlds to rule and explore. Whether we're talking about flaming waters, water is flammable in these lucid and magical lands where elves, orcs, trolls, vampires, and werebeasts live in deceptive peace, wet desert, blood birth, strange shape-shifting creatures, champions, Artifacts and lands are bounded by divine blood in this majestic world of horrid beauty. Holy dead lands, frozen fire, plenty of unique worlds to play in and explore. And this is their open Ethereum-based marketplace, very similar to many marketplaces out there that more and more people are getting accustomed to using. And this marketplace actually taps in and is powered by the largest crypto marketplace, OpenSea. And you know you can buy and sell and trade outside of being within the game. That's the cool thing about all this. You can get access to these cards by playing the game. You can buy them yourself. You can buy them from other people on the open marketplace. Check out the pitch deck. So this pitch deck answers all your questions in a very consumable way. It is available right on the front page of their main website. This I'm sure is what all of the VC investors saw before they invested so they could understand what the game actually is. You know, what is Spellfire? What can you do? You can collect, you can create, you can build, you can evolve, you can earn, you can live. It goes through the different cards, the different worlds. Uh, it shows you, you know, what this looks like on your mobile device. It talks about how you can earn, play to earn crypto. And of course, you can learn all about the team. This is their official Twitter. Magic World of Spellfire is waiting for you. And then this is about just, you know, 45 seconds long, a pretty interesting, exciting trailer. Watch this. Great magic legend slept for 30 years, but it now has awakened. It's time for the new hero to appear. Maybe you are this hero. Master the magic again. So if play to earn games interest you, if you want to play the game, if you want to participate in the Spellfire card game, or just 
learn more information about how it works and about the different worlds and all the stuff you can do with the augmented reality and all that stuff, I'm going to leave a link to Spellfire, the main website, in the description below and all pertinent information and links in the description below. And of course, on their main site is where you can get all the information from their pitch deck to their trailer to get to the marketplace to all of their sources of information, as you can see, and just learn more about it in general. I'm curious if you have played a play to earn game before and what you look for. Let me know in the comments below or if you are playing Spellfire, let me know what you think. And with that being said, I will see you tomorrow, my friends.